Welcome to Financial Future, your go-to channel for all things related to your financial well-being. In this video, we'll be discussing the 2024 changes for SSDI beneficiaries who are blind. We're going to dive deep into the substantial gainful activity limits and the new income threshold of $2,590 per month for blind SSDI beneficiaries. But before we get into the nitty-gritty, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to stay updated on all things related to your financial future. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to show your support and help others find this essential information. First, let's clarify that in this video, we're specifically focusing on Social Security Disability and not Supplemental Security Income. These two programs are similar but have significant differences, especially in their income limitations. If you're an SSI beneficiary, don't worry, we have dedicated videos on this channel for you too. Now let's delve into the details for SSDI beneficiaries who are blind in 2024. You need to know these limitations because exceeding them can lead to garnished benefits, or even the end of your benefits something most people want to avoid. So, what exactly is SGA you may wonder? SGA stands for Substantial Gainful Activity which is essentially a limit set by Social Security for SSDI beneficiaries. This limit defines how much income you can earn without jeopardizing your disability status. If you exceed this limit, it could raise questions about your disability and your ability to work. Here's the important part. The income limit of $2,590 per month is based on your gross income not including your monthly SSDI benefit. It's essential to understand that this number is calculated before any deductions due to taxes, so it's your total income from all sources. Now, the $2,590 limit applies specifically to blind SSDI beneficiaries in 2024. If you're a non-blind SSDI beneficiary, your SGA limit is $1,550 per month, which is significantly lower. I want to emphasize that income is income, whether it's from a part-time job, a side hustle, a small business, or any other source. Even if you're paid in cash, you should report it. The law states that all income must be reported, and while not everyone may follow this rule, it's always best to be transparent and honest. If you plan to start working or increase your income, I strongly recommend calling Social Security and having a conversation with an agent. They can help you calculate how many hours you can work based on your expected income and hourly wage, ensuring you stay within the SGA limits. Remember, it's essential to follow the rules and be honest about your income. Trying to bend or break the rules can lead to problems, including overpayment issues down the line. That's all for today's video on the 2024 SGA limits for blind SSDI beneficiaries. If you have more questions or need further clarification, feel free to leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video. Your financial future is important and we're here to help you navigate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.